All right, welcome back to another video. So today we are doing five things we wish we knew about Britney's before we got them. And Rooney decided that he definitely wants to be in on this video. Piper's over on the couch over there. So you haven't actually looked at any of these. You don't even know what I'm gonna ask. No. What I'm gonna say. I don't. So the first one is walking and walking early. And the reason I say this is because <laughs> Rooney, Mr. Rooney right here, he's great at walking. He does good. He does really and good. And that is because we walked with him a ton when he was just a little puppy. Now mm -hmm. Piper, on the other hand, is awful at walking and tries <laughs> to pretty like, much, yeah, she's, she's, she's confused. She tries to pretty much pull us into like, you know, she'll pull us down a hill or into like a creek or whatever. Doesn't she's matter so for her. She's so strong. She's very strong, and that is because we did walk with her a decent bit, but yeah, not she was... not a lot. Probably what you would do with a normal dog. But Britneys are very, and you can attest to this because you've had them before, and they're all very difficult to walk. Yeah, they are. It's not that they're <laughs> disobedient, but it's kind of like they just what would you say? Not that they have a mind of their own, but they're just they're hard to be tamed, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So. I mean, Rooney, once we put the easy walk harness on him, he did great. Yeah. He used to pull when he was a puppy. Um, but then, sorry, you can't see me. But then uh, we got the easy walk harness for him, and he just instantly shaped up. Did really good with it. Piper pulls with both. <laughs> yeah, I definitely would highly recommend an easy walk harness because it did it makes a difference for both of them. But Piper still tries to pull through it. But that's definitely the first one I would I would recommend walking with them a lot when they're puppies and getting them used to it. So number two is establish a routine. I have had dogs all my life, and I have never seen dogs that are more attuned to a routine. And that goes for both good routines and bad routines. Hey, this is Piper right here. <laughs> so th they love to be on a set schedule every day and if you get off that schedule they do not like that and they get upset yeah, and so do. when they behave the best is when they're on that routine so I work yeah. from home and I pretty much do mostly the same thing every day with them and when we're on that routine they behave so much better and when we get off of that if we don't go and play and get all the exercise like normal or they're not out all day then they definitely let us know. <laughs> well, even just like down to like when they wake up in the morning, they wake up at the same time. Yeah. They eat typically at the same time. They're just very... Uh, they function a lot better. And it also goes for bad habits too because we realize... So these dogs are both very well potty trained. They do not have any more accidents. But when so we go to parents. when we go to your parents' house, Rooney goes upstairs and he poops in your brother's room <laughs> almost every time. And that's because when he was younger, he did it a couple times and established that as a routine. And so now he thinks it's okay. It's the only place in the world that he thinks it's okay to poop inside. And probably just that was just a marking. He smells it or something. I don't know. Yeah. He just keeps going back to it. Which is crazy because he's never once done that here. He's never, I mean, even when he was a puppy, he never had accidents in the house. He didn't. He would go on a pee pad and then he would go outside. But. Pup girl, are you trying to take my seat? Excuse me, miss. She's really confused as to why you're sitting on her legs. Oh, Pippy. There, girl. But yes, they definitely, they definitely like her good routine. <laughs> that, that, you know, like most people, most people like good routines. So. Yeah. They are the same. So the third one is sensitive stomachs. And so yeah, that kind of, bad. yeah, she's not bad, but. But they, but I mean, I don't remember growing up when we had them, them having sensitive stomachs, but Rooney, he, he's got sensitive skin. Sensitive belly, sensitive hair. <laughs> He's got it all. He's just so it sensitive. doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily apply to all Britneys, but just kind of know. Oh, your phone's blocked now. Just kind of know that that is something that can happen. Is that they can have really sensitive stomachs. So they make sensitive stomach food and all that stuff. But like Rooney, if he goes a few hours without eating, 
think he's um, got acid reflux. Yeah, he'll throw up. And so I have to feed him a lot through the day. I don't feed him a ton at a time, but I do have to feed him a lot. So that's just something. And if he eats anything outside, then... And we'll get to another point here in a second on that. But if he eats anything outside, then he usually throws up. Piper's a little bit better about it, but she still gets sick every now and then. But, <laughs> so that's another one. Sensitive stomachs. Um, number four. This is, a, this is a big one. They're very curious. So I've never had dogs that are more curious. Of course, they are, they are hunting dogs. So... They sniff around everything and are curious about every little thing. And so that kind of goes with the last point about sensitive stomachs. Hey, you we're making a video. Hi. Come on, girl. She doesn't care. So that kind of goes with sensitive stomachs because if there is something outside that they can get into, they will get into it and investigate it. Same for inside. So you definitely can't hide anything from them. Anytime I buy like a new toy or something for them, they immediately know that, that it's in the bag because they can smell it. So, a thing that I wish I knew about that was just how curious they are and how much they get into things, because that would have saved us a lot of trouble in the first part. Yeah, look at the camera. Look at the thing. <laughs> but like Rooney, I that's think he cool. he ate a a pad of steel wool Don't when he tell was younger. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not good, not good for the pups. You but threw it up. Yeah, you didn't immediately. Digest. <laughs> yeah, so just just be known. And of course, a lot of dogs are like that, but Brittany's especially because they have such good noses. Anything that has a smell, they will get into it. And last on the list is definitely something that's very different about, well, at least our two dogs, but probably most Brittany's, is how emotional they are. They are. Do you want to handle <laughs> this one? Sure, I guess. <laughs> They, like Rooney, for instance, he's more so, I would say, than, but no, Piper. Yeah, if Piper gets in trouble, she gets very upset. Like, she will wait for Brandon to come and say it's okay. Like My name's Jark. Sorry, Jark. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait for you to, like, console her till she feels okay and knows okay, I'm not in trouble anymore. And then Rooney, Rooney just wants kisses all the time. Yeah, they, they get their feelings hurt a lot and they do need to be consoled, but also they can tell our emotions too. So like if we're, you know, if I'm having a bad day, a lot of times they can tell and they can read that. So if you're angry and if you're, you know, carrying on, doing angry people stuff, whatever that is, then they'll kind of read that. Well, I don't know. Maybe. They'll kind of read that as maybe you're angry at them. And a lot of times, especially Piper, she'll kind of really be upset if, like, you know, if, you, if you're angry about something or sad about something. But vice versa, with being happy and excited, they'll feed straight off of that energy. And they will be very happy and excited. Yeah. Oh goodness. It's like whatever Ramps whatever we quick. do, they do it's like twice as much. So if we're you know, if we're happy and excited, they're twice as happy and excited. So yeah. so they definitely can read emotions, but also you can you can tell a lot about what they feel. Like I, I swear like you know, I can tell basically whatever Rooney's thinking at any time just by the way that he's acting by his ears, the way they're positioned, you can usually tell what they're feeling. And so I can always tell what he needs, what he wants, if he's hungry, if he needs to go to the bathroom, he's or if he wants to play. <laughs> yeah, he's watching me, he knows what I'm talking about. And so if they're upset about something, you can definitely read that on their face. So that's something that I would definitely uh, say you should know about kind of from the beginning when they're a puppy, you kind of learn those signs and how to, how to read what they're feeling. Mm -hmm. But yeah, can you think of anything else to add that you should know? No. If y'all like this video, we might make a follow-up to it. We'll think of some other things. There's a million things I wish I knew. <laughs> but yeah, thank y'all for watching. And uh, yeah, if you stayed this long and enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe because we will be doing more videos. Maybe something like this. So, see y'all in the next one.